Well, it doesn't get any better than being the best. And just like Omaha, Lincoln has its own best of awards. And again this year, Schrock Innovations is a winner. Here nice. to compete. Yeah, here to compete this store, Schrock. Hi. Thanks for having me, guys. What's up? Thank Congrats. You. How'd you earn this award? Uh, and you got, well, did you get it again last year? Uh, yeah, we've won it. We've we won it for a number of years mm -hmm. in a row. Um, basically, the the way the award works is. It's, a, it's an online voting where listeners to certain radio stations in Lincoln can go on to the bestoflincoln.net and they can vote and they vote for all kinds of different categories and the categories are all randomized so you can't make a bot that goes and does it mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I mean, it's a, uh, Spartan polling actually handles the tallying. Um, so it's done by an independent third party. So, so it's, it's legit. So the radio station can't just pick their biggest advertisers and make them the winners, that uh -huh. kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. You know, it, it, one of the things I always say is when you, when you win an award like this, it's obviously a morale booster for my Lincoln Service Center staff that they're doing what they're doing right. But it's a measure of previous performance. It's not a, uh, an indication like, hey, we're, we're the best right now. If you want to be the best right now, you just have to be the best right now. Be mm -hmm. the best you can and provide the best service. But what this shows us is in the previous year, we did a good job of that. Mm -hmm. And so you can stop at any time, guys. If you get full of yourself and take it for granted, <clears throat> you know, you could you can fall down into that trap. Mm -hmm. So what's in the secret sauce? If you're talking about the consistency, <laughs> the what's the key to it? Um, you know, honestly, one of the one of the policies that I have at Schrock is there should never be a customer that leaves the service center unhappy. And obviously, we all live in that, that's idealism, and we all live in the world of reality. And mm -hmm. some people just don't want to be happy. There's nothing you can do to make them happy. And those people, they, you know, we take we take that home at night. When we have a customer who is just mad as all get out for something, even though you know we could be completely in the right and we know we're completely in the right, mm -hmm. policy says we cannot sit down with the customer and say, you know, tough cookies, son. You know, <laughs> you, you you better just suck it up right, and, and deal right. with it. You got to pay the restock yeah. fee. You know, yeah. you want to return a computer? There's a restock fee. That's how it works. You do what you can. Um, for everybody. So yeah, we do what we can. So for example, we had a guy that wanted to, uh, you know, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, who brought a, bought a computer, then brought it back, and then went because he got another one at Best Buy that he thought was a better deal. And, and I took the time to call him and explain to him, it's like, that's fine if you want to keep the Best Buy computer, I get it. I'm not going to charge you the restock fee, even though we're completely within our rights to do that. But, you know, I want to keep you as a customer, even though you bought an HP, I'll guarantee you, you're going to be a repair customer in about <laughs> seven to <laughs> right, 12 months. Right. So I want to keep you as a customer, even uh -huh. if you bought your computer somewhere else. So what can I do to make this right? And by the time we were done with the call, he was so impressed. He said, I, I want the modular computer. I want that level of service. And I'm mm -hmm. not going to get that from the box store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th that's kind of, you have to treat each person as an individual, each customer as an individual with individual concerns. And I get emails from customers all the time with, you know, everything ranging from like really complex questions all the way to, you know, silly little emails. I, we have a listener of the radio shows who uh, every winter he goes to Switzerland. He has a house in Switzerland where he lives for the winter. And, uh, he emails in saying, you know, listening from 5,000 miles away, you uh, know, or something like that. That he dials you up online. And yeah, he just, he just sends a quick email, let us know he's oh. listening, you know, and it's, it's great. He's not buying anything from Switzerland, no, but it's cool to hear from him, you know. That's a compliment, though. That's a great yeah. customer. Takes that I hear you talk about service all the time. Service, service, service. Make your customers happy. But yes. you also have these great products, too. You can't, mm -hmm. have, you can't be the best of without great products, too. Where does the products fit into all this? Gotcha. Well, Schrock primarily is a service-driven company. Great example. Uh, at a time when we're selling endpoint antivirus software, uh, another company, Stop Sign Antivirus, complete joke of an antivirus product, comes to us and says, we will pay you so much money if you just recommend and sell our product. You know, basically, you'll be a spokesman for Stop Zelithor, and your, your service centers will sell it. And, uh, yeah, it, it used to be called Stop Sign, then it was Stop Zella. Now it's just uh -huh. like, I think, yeah, I think it's Stop Zella now. I don't know. But uh, because they had to change the name because the performance was so bad. Yeah. And so, basically, they come to us and they say, we'll pay you a boatload of money. Now, a smart business guy is going to take that deal. Some of my competitors took that deal, and they recommend this antivirus all the way around. It doesn't do a good job. But we'd rather make less money selling a better product because it leads to a happy customer, which is where the service comes in. So when mm -hmm. we talk about modular tablets or modular computers, there's all sorts of ways we can, we can deliver those products cheaper. You know, Dell's going to have a $150 laptop for Black Friday oh, wow. this year. Mm -hmm. And so I did a whole segment on the radio show about why Schrock doesn't do Black Friday ads, because if I sell you a piece of crap, you will come back and you'll want your money back, even yeah. though it was only 150 bucks. And I could look you in the eye and say, what did you think you were getting for 150 right. bucks? You know, you're not going to get a Cadillac, but, you know, 
th that's not the, the type of customer yeah. we look for. You're, you're in it for the long haul. Yeah, that's right, exactly these, what it was. A smart businessman makes the customers happy. We play that's the long true. game. That's true. That's yep. true. And another Best of Lincoln award for Schrock Innovations. Yay. But that's not the only place where you'll find a service center. We have a couple um, in Omaha and Papillion. So let's show you those addresses. That way, if you have a problem, you can get your computer into the shop, whether you paid $150 for it or a heck of a lot more. Uh, sometimes things go wrong. And they even do like web design and that sort of thing, too. So And data recovery. And data recovery. If your hard drive crashes, you could ask them about that. Uh, SchrockInnovations.com, that's the website. And then each center has its own phone number. So hopefully you're paying attention at home and you can jot down the one that's nearest you. All right. Thanks, Thor. Hey, thanks, guys. Thank I appreciate you, having me. It's good, good to see you. See you. Uh,